Hello everyone, Jeff here with a quick video. I um, performed a few experiments today on a couple of records that I just recently showed and basically saying how they were um, pretty unlistenable in their um, present state, even though I tried cleaning them through the spin clean. So, in the comments of that video, uh, my buddy Russ, whose channel is Amorphous Audio, which you should check out and subscribe to, by the way, uh, mentioned, I don't know if it was uh, in jest or if he was serious, but he's just said, well, maybe you should just try the scrubbing bubbles technique and with some elbow grease. And I thought, what have I got to lose? I, I did see something on the YouTubes about um, people using scrubbing bubbles on their records. So I figured, what the hell, what have I got to lose? <laughs> so the three records I used were the Stones one, Johnny Winter, and the Eagles. So what I did was I um, laid the record out on a towel and I got I got a paint pad because uh, this is from my uh, when I used to do the uh, DIY cleaning uh, solution in the spray bottle um, and this actually the the width of this pad fits perfectly around the uh, grooves of a 33 album <laughs> so and and the bristles are soft but they're still um, stiff enough to you know get get down in there pretty decently so what I did was I I wet this with distilled water ran it around the record first just to wet the surface down sprayed this in a you know just probably maybe six or eight inches away from the record so it fanned out and coated the record with the scrubbing bubbles let it sit for a minute basically until the bubbles dissolved and, and it all just turned clear I don't know why I just that's just the way I did it and then um, I had a pan with some distilled water in it so I took the paint pad wet it again and ran it around the surface of the record several times in each direction and then um, rinsed it the way I would normally rinse uh, the record with a spin clean. I just took, I just have a rag in there and I just ran in, you know, my rinse rag over the surface of the record. Then I repeated the process on the other side. And um, by the time I was done with the other side, instead of wiping it dry, I just set it in the dish rack to dry. Uh, air dry so that was the um, that was the process that I used for um, cleaning and I did all three records that way it took I don't know probably 15 minutes or so for three records I would guess maybe I'd say probably five minutes per counting both sides of the record and then um, <clears throat> I uh, let them air dry completely and I play tested them. Um, there was no residue left behind that I could see using the uh, technical grade distilled water that I can get my hands on. Um, makes that easy. And this was the one, the Stones one, was the one that I was most disappointed with. And while it didn't completely eliminate every single tick, pop, crack, whatever, it knocked it down by probably, I'd say, 50, 60 percent. It got to where it wasn't, um, it wasn't quite as noticeable and annoying. Um, I, mm, I wouldn't say it completely restored the record, but it made it where I, I want to listen to this again. So, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Uh, for the Johnny Winter, um, that one, it, it's got some surface abrasions on it and scuffs, so I wasn't expecting, you know, the world. 
but it did improve it by probably the same amount. I'd probably say like 50, 60% because you can tell as soon as the needle hits the outer groove, you know, you can hear that crackling and popping right away. Well, after cleaning it, it didn't seem quite as uh, noticeable. It was still there, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like loud and in your face. It was more subdued and more of the music came out, if that makes any sense. So um, while I would like to upgrade this copy still, I'm in less of a rush to do it now because it does sound a lot better than it did even after spin cleaning. And uh, like I say, it, it, it brought out some more of the music. Like um, it just seemed to sound a little bit clearer than it did before. And I'm just going off memory. So both of those records were probably, like I say, a 50 to 60% improvement, which is better than nothing. And um, made these records less trashable, <laughs> in my opinion. Now, the Eagles one practically restored it because it was a fairly clean record to begin with. And even after spin cleaning, I um, had a lot of static crackle on it, I think, from rubbing it, which, um, like I said in my last uh, video, um, Baraka P-Dub, whose videos I love, and I think we're all subscribed to his channel by now, aren't we? I, I think we all are. Uh, he's great. Um, mentioned that instead of wiping the uh, record dry after you rinse it to just let it air dry in a dish rack or, or whatever, some kind of holder. So I did that and the I can, I can safely report that the static crackle on this record is gone. Uh, the improvement on this one is probably more like 90%. Um, where it was especially in the quiet passages between songs that's really kind of where I, I focus my attention and there's very little if none uh, noise or crackling and popping on this record anymore so this one here was probably the biggest success of the three but all three had some success or, or some sort of improvement so while I know people all have their own special way of cleaning records. Me, I'm just trying anything and everything just to try to save some of these so I don't have to throw them away and so I can listen to them and enjoy them without getting pissed off. <laughs> so um, I'm just throwing this out there. The initial experiment with uh, scrubbing bubbles here has been fairly positive. Um, I may try this more in the future um, not, I'm certainly not abandoning the spin clean by any means. Um, that's still going to probably be my primary method of cleaning records. Um, but for the dirtier ones, like the ones that I bought, um, scrubbing bubbles, maybe, um, uh, after trying to spin clean them, if, if it doesn't work and you, it, of course it's more labor, you know, it's more labor intensive to clean a record a second time or even a third time if you're really nuts. But um, if it's something that you really want, something that you hate to throw away, it's it, it seems to work. So I don't know if I did it the right way. I just figured my own way to do it and uh, with a paint pad and um, a rinse in distilled water and air drying. Seemed to help a lot on all three of those records. So just throwing it out there. If uh, if you guys want to laugh at me, it's okay. If you want to make jokes, if you want to say that uh, <laughs> I should try bubble gum or magic erasers next, that's okay. I don't care. Or silly putty. I've heard all that too. Um, but for those of you who uh, have heard of this and are kind of afraid to try it on your records, I do it for you so you don't have to worry. Um, yeah. So, this could be a thing. Just saying. Alright guys, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I'll be back, hopefully soon, with another video. Take care everyone. Peace.